Hi everyone, this is Lori at the Land of Color and I want to take just a few minutes to walk you through how to find the hue angle for any major paint brand's paint colors. We'll be using a website called EasyRGB.com. I'm on the homepage right now, but before we get into EasyRGB, you need to download the Color Strategist color wheel. I included a link to the page you see here in the post. When you get to this page, you want to click on download right here and you'll be able to download the color wheel. So let's talk about the color wheel for a second. You absolutely have to have this color wheel in order to use a color's hue angle to figure out what hue family the color belongs to. And here's why. On the outside of the color wheel, you'll find hue angle degrees and on the inside are the hue families. There are 10 hue families around the wheel, and you can see all 10 of them right here. And each hue family is broken down into 10 units. And I'm gonna walk through those 10 units right now, so get comfy. <laughs> so, starting at the top, we have 10 RP. RP is, 10 RP is the end of the red-purple hue family, but it's the beginning of the red hue family. So this is 1R, 2R, 3R, 4R, 5R, which is the middle of the red hue family, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we end at 10R. So 10R is the end of the red hue family, but the beginning of the yellow red hue family, which is orange. So the pattern starts all over again, right? 1YR, 2YR, 3, 4, 5YR is the middle of the yellow-red hue family, all the way over to 10YR, which is the end of the yellow-red hue family, and the beginning of the yellow hue family. And this pattern continues all the way around the color wheel for each hue family section. Let's talk about how these two components of the color strategist color wheel work together. So let's say you look up a color on easy RGB and discover that it has a hue angle of 75 degrees. So you have your color with a 75 degree hue angle and you plot it on the color wheel right here. When you do that, you can see that 75 degrees aligns with the yellow hue family right around the one Y mark. Now you know that your color with a 75 degree hue angle belongs to the yellow hue family, but it's over very close to the end of the yellow red hue family. That tells you the color could have peachy or orangish overtones because it's over so close to the yellow red hue family. Okay, now that you're familiar with the color wheel, let's head back over to Easy RGB and look up a real paint color. Here we are on the Easy RGB homepage. So we're gonna scroll down to this first section right here, find similar colors in different collections, and we're gonna click on Try It Now. And we are going to look up Manchester Tan, and you see how it has the color number first and then the name? I wanna show you how I do it. <laughs> um, you can do it this way too, just start typing in the name, and you'll see that uh, all of the colors in the library that have a name similar to Manchester, ten, uh, Manchester Tan start to fill in below the window. And I think it's easier to start typing in the name versus the number because then you don't have to look the number up or try to remember what the number is. You can just type in the name. So Manchester Tan um, are the first two on this list. And the reason why there are two Manchester Tans is because one was scanned from the Benjamin Moore Classic Colors fan deck and one was scanned from a Benjamin Moore Color Preview fan deck. Manchester Tan is in both of those fan decks and that's the only reason why there's two. So I usually select the first one and uh, in the window it's confirming your color is HC81 and we can search all collections in the library if you click on this, you can actually choose to search individual color collections. Like if you wanted to search for Manchester Tan in Sherwin-Williams, you could, but I'm going to leave it all collections. And we click compare. So this page that pops up 
is kind of handy to know about too, but even though it's not what we're actually doing today, we'll talk about it a little bit. This page tells you all of the colors that are similar to Manchester Tan available in the EasyRGB.com library. So OC11 Clay Beige is the first one uh, in the first spot, and that tells you this is the closest color in the whole library to Manchester Tan. And we can tell how close it is or how different it is by looking at the Delta E number. So this Delta E number, again, tells you how different or how similar colors are. And clay beige has a Delta E of 0 0.4. If your color has um, a Delta E of 0 0.5 or below, that's a pretty good match. It's um, That tells you that it's going to be rather similar to your target color. Uh, for example, Bear has one called Studio Clay that's very similar to Manchester Tan with a Delta E of 0 0.4. Kelly Moore has Indian Muslin. And as we move down the list, there's a couple more 0 0.5s. But then right about here, we start uh, inching up in Delta E to 0 0.6. Uh, Wool Skein from Sherwin-Williams is the closest color to Manchester Tan, and it has a Delta E of 0 0.7. So that's probably not going to be all that similar looking to Manchester Tan and probably not worth pulling a chip to take a look at. But anyway, so that's what this whole page is about. But let's get back to what we came here to do, which was find the hue angle for Manchester Tan. And I need to get to the color data values for this color. And I do that by clicking on Manchester Tan right here. So we get a new drop down window and I'm going to select convert. And this takes us to a whole page of spectral data values. All kinds of great information here. But what we're looking for out of all of these numbers is just one number, just the hue angle for Manchester Tan. And we're going to find the hue angle for any color that you look up. It's in the same place for whatever color you're looking up. Um, the line you're looking for is C-I-E-L-C-H-A-B. And the last number in the line is uh, degrees. So this tells you the hue angle of the color. And for Manchester Tan, it's 90.627. We'll round that up and call it 91 degrees. So now we know the hue angle for Manchester Tan. So we can head on back over to the color strategist color wheel. And when we get here, we want to find 91 degrees, which is right here. And if we follow that inward to the hue families, we can see that Manchester Tan belongs to the yellow hue family. It's actually in the middle of the yellow hue family, right here at 91 degrees. It almost lines up exactly with 5Y. You could call it easily call it 5Y. And what that means is in a relatively balanced quality of light, Manchester Tan is going to look like a near neutral, a slightly golden tan color. It's not going to have any distinctive hue bias one way or the other. It's not going to have any peachy or greenish overtones because it's in the middle of the hue family. So if Manchester tan does look a little greenish, then you know the quality of light you're working with isn't exactly balanced. But it could show a little peachy too. It could swing this way depending on the light. And again, if it does swing this way and look a little peachy or orangish, you know the quality of light you have to work with in the space isn't exactly balanced. At which point, you can proceed accordingly. So maybe colors like Manchester Tan, maybe colors that belong to this Hue family neighborhood aren't a good fit for the light you have to work with. Maybe they aren't a right fit for the context you have to work with. Let's say Manchester Tan shifts and does look a little green next to the floor. So if the floor is influencing how Manchester Tan renders in the space, then you know that you need to try near neutral tannish looking colors from a different Hue family neighborhood. That's not 91 degrees. So that's one super useful way understanding how Hue families work can come in handy. And if we scroll back up to the top of the page, you can see that I have a few notes here for you. Just a few things to keep in mind about how to use this information and how the color wheel works. And uh, that's all there is to it. Um, you can look up as many colors as you want here on Easy RGB. 
It might be a good idea when you're looking up this information to write it down, maybe keep it in a spreadsheet or start a Word document so you don't have to keep going back to Easy RGB and looking up the same information over and over again. So there you have it. Um, it's just that quick and easy. I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> uh, again, this is an objective point of view about a color's attributes and appearance. This isn't based on individual subjective opinion. No one is guessing about anything. The light source used to determine the hue family is, for the most part, consistent and repeatable. And what I mean by that is if you use a color muse and the app that goes with it to scan a color to get its hue angle, and that hue angle from the color muse doesn't match exactly to the hue angle you find on easy RGB, that's not a big deal. They're going to be close. Color data values like hue angle aren't always going to match from source to source, like from a Color Muse app to Easy RGB, or from uh, Easy RGB to a manufacturer's uh, color notations. And the reason why that happens, and the reason why it's okay that it happens, is different devices are used to measure different color samples. So there's a certain margin of error that's expected and acceptable. And it's only going to differ. It usually only differs by a few degrees anyway. You're still going to end up in the same Hue family neighborhood, right? So if you have Manchester Tan here at 5Y and the color muse says it's at, you know, 2 or 3Y, you know, that's pretty close, right? Within 10 degrees or so. It's not like the different values from different devices and different um, sources are going to uh, jettison uh, the Hue family for Manchester Tan all the way over to the other side of the color wheel and say it's purple blue or something crazy. So it's gonna be close. And there are ways to drill down and get even more specific and calculate a color's Munsell Hue family notation. But this method I just showed you, uh, using hue angles and then following the hue angle degree in to the hue family, works well enough to get a quick kind of executive summary about what hue family a color belongs to. I hope you found this information and this video helpful and that it will save you from hours of shuffling aimlessly through a bunch of paint chips trying to pinpoint and clearly understand a color's characteristics and why it looks the way it looks in your space. Thanks for listening.